俺はタイムマシンなんてバカらしい代物だと思うけどな I remembered our old debate and decided to repeat what Kirisho had said then. So, I'm going to say that. So, I'm going to say that. 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 ワームホール理論これらは思考実験としてはタイムトラベルを可能にするがそもそも宇宙ひもだのエキゾチック物質だのはどこからどう探してくればいいのか見当もつかないつまり現実的ではない This was also something that Kiriso had told me in the Alpha World line But the Kiriso on the screen was unmoved それは科学者がまだ重大な何かを発見できていないからでしょうねそれじゃあ君はタイムマシンをいつか作れると思っているのか不可能とまでは言い切れないそう言いましたよ<笑> Yeah, her opinion was slightly different Was this because I was in the beta world line? Or perhaps No, ヒアジョウさん彼女は自分がオリジナルの記憶から派生した存在だということは認識しているんだよなもちろんじゃあえー、っとうまい例が思いつかないんだが一卵性ソーセージみたいなことはあるのか生まれた時は見分けがつかないだが育つにつれてサイが出てくるとかそういうことをそれについてはまだ検証中だけれど蓄積されていく記憶が異なれば当然元の人間とは違うものになっていくと思うわ私と教授はそう考えているそっか It was then that I heard the door on the other side of the, of the, of the partition slam shut 教授かしらあの大きな足音はそうじゃないでしょうか I could definitely hear somebody stomping around outside. And then, after a heavy knock, the door to the booth flung open. Rintaro! <laughs> wow. Wow. Lintalo. The professor opened his arms wide as he came inside. He grabbed my hand and began to wave it around. I hadn't realized he was this friendly. He seemed to think he was giving me a handshake, but it felt like I was being worked over by a pro wrestler. Hey, boy, what's up? <laughs> That's a fucking greeting, all right. Christina. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I was so focused on the professor that I used my old nickname for her. Kiriso and Maho both seemed lost in thought. I didn't want any more questions about this since the professor was here. I decided to ask more about how Amadeus' memories worked. But the professor wasn't listening to my question. He seemed to be frantically searching his pockets for something. Come to think of it, I didn't see that translator device on his ear. He must have been looking for it, which means odds were good he didn't even hear my question. <laughs> Kirisu herself answered it in the professor's place. Kirisu <laughs> 
今のところ改ざんに成功した例はないと認識しています仮に改ざんに成功した場合でも私がそれに気づいて自分で修復してしまうでしょう私は私以外アクセス不可の領域にログを取っていますからつまり秘密の日記ですねその日記と現在の記憶との間に不自然な祖母があれば私は高い確率で疑問を抱きますさらに言えば私の記憶データは定期的にバックアップされています自己修復が不能なほどに改ざんされたとしても復旧することが可能なんですよ最終バックアップから改ざんされた時点までの記憶はなくなってしまいますがうんそっか Regardless of the topic of discussion, it felt strange. What Maho had said before she loaded Kirisu was true. I was starting to feel like I was chatting, up, chatting with the real Kirisu. The way she wouldn't let you get a word in edgewise when she started talking about science was exactly like the real Kirisu. I turned towards Kirisu and spoke. それは全くナンセンスですね。人間そのものが自分をハードウェアとソフトウェアの組み合わせとして語るじゃありませんか。医学とか心理学とかそういう名においてね。それとどこが違うんですよ。なるほど。さすが。ヘリクツなら誰にも負けないわね、この子は。When she heard this, Kirso turned towards Maho, her CGI is big and round, though it was really just the camera sensor moving. Dr. Luskin was clapping his hands together and laughing. I had to chuckle a little, too. Afterward, the three of us, including the professor, talked to Kirisu, discussing technical subjects and making small talk. The next thing I knew, it had been almost an hour. I actually felt a little sad when Maho told me it was time to stop. In just a single hour, the strangeness I'd felt about Amadeus had disappeared, and I felt like I was really talking to Kirisu. Dr. Leskin didn't stop me before I left. <laughs> I tilted my head when I heard the professor speak, speak through the translator. I remember they'd mentioned something about being a tester at the party. So, this is what they were talking about. それと I remembered what it had felt like to talk to Kirisu. When the monitor was just about to turn off, this is what Kirisu had said. Let's talk again sometime, Rentaro Okabe. 
That's what I had hoped for when I came here, wasn't it? I thought I was ready when I accepted the job, but I had never expected this. For to call me out of the blue? Alright. <laughs> Sports Center update. We're getting phone calls from AIs. Kirsu was displayed on the screen. Yes, it was Amadeus. The app the professor had given me allowed me allowed me to access the service at Victor Chondria University from anywhere, 24 hours a day. This I hadn't predicted. I never thought she would call me. Or that her face would be displayed on the screen. She looked really mad. I could guess why. I'd, get, I'd gotten eight calls from Kirisu and I ignored all of them. Talking to a realistic girl on my smartphone with so many people around was pretty embarrassing. Man, what is this? More than that strangely polite, friendly Kirisu from yesterday. Angry. Stubborn. More curious than anyone. The way she seemed to be constantly challenging you. I realized that this was really Kirisu Makase. That was the girl I spent those three weeks with. Lab member triple o, or double o 004, not triple. My assistant Christina, aka Kirisu Makase. Her movements were a little more jerky than I had seen on the computer in Dr. Leskin's office, but evidently that was because of the smartphone. Whatever. This alone was enough to make me feel like my heart was being squeezed dry. I stood still, holding the smartphone tight. I thought to myself as I ran to catch up with the others. Maybe Dr. Lesson was right, and this test would be a very cruel thing for me. But even so, in my mind I was already starting to think about what I would talk about with Kirisu. Maho Hyaja was remembering. She was remembering the last night she had spoken to Kirisu Makase in person. March 28, 2010. 1118. It's almost like the, the Persona 4 fighting games, like, <laughs> text blocks. That night, Kirisu was whispering to herself a lot. Victor Conjurer University's Brain Science Institute. Maho and Kirisu were worked in a little was fine, but she'd been acting like this all day and was keeping Maho from concentrating. She finally snapped and turned away from the paper she was writing. <laughs> English was the language most commonly used at Victor Condre University. When the other staff and professors were around, she'd always use English, but when it was just her and Kirisu, Maho would often speak in Japanese. <laughs> Kirisu stopped messing with her luggage and turned around. Maho 
騒音郊外で訴えてあげようかしらすみませんキュウセウアポロジーズに使われてスクラッチのバックで見つけたのは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マハオは、マ After she skipped grades to go to college and then came to work at this lab, she had more chances than ever to, to hate her small stature. Whenever she walked outside after dark, the cops would stop her. Even with her ID, she couldn't get into bars, and buying medicine and alcohol at drugstores was a pain. The most humiliating part was that no matter where she went, everyone thought she was in middle school. Nobody believed her when she was said she was 20. Everything in America was just too big. I know. Let's go. 